You go out dancing, salsa, bachata, kizomba, big events, and there's a lot of people who are taking videos and pictures. Now, have you given consent and should you? Hello everybody and welcome to my channel, Rasa the Dancer is here, again with you. And today we are talking about something very interesting that I actually read in one of the comments on one of my YouTube videos. And the question was about the videos and pictures that are taken in the big dancing events. And one of the persons said, um, I don't like my videos to be taken. I don't like my pictures to be taken. I don't want them to be out there everywhere. And what do I do? Is it like normal? Is there nothing I can do? Is there something I could say? What are the rules? What is actually happening? So this actually, I was thinking I would have even never thought about this subject because I'm a professional dancer. So when I'm in the event, the cameras and pictures will be there on me and they're supposed to be there. I am used not only as a teacher or a dancer, I'm used as a promotional tool. So I know what I'm signing up for. So I wouldn't even thought about it. But what about normal people who go there just for the dance, for the social, and they really, maybe because of their profession, uh, the job that they do, they don't want the pictures to be out there, or maybe just for the personal. Whatever the reason might be, it is a subject that actually is very interesting to talk about. So I will give you the main information, how to think about all of those uh, videos and pictures that happen in the events. And then hopefully you can have a better understanding of what you can do in your own situation. So let me start with this. Usually if you go to an event, um, of course, every single event needs to promote in order to exist, have a lot of people there so you could enjoy your night. So of course, they need to take uh, pictures and videos for promotional purposes to make sure that they are out there with loads of people dancing and smiling and having a good time, have some video montage so they could promote the events so that you could come in and have a good time because there's people there. So there will definitely be video Geographers and photographers in every single event. So when you go there, you have to already assume that you are coming into an event that actually wants to promote themselves. So there will be videos and pictures taken. Okay. So that is a given. And a lot of the times, um, most of the time, people don't mind it. Um, people only sometimes start minding it when it's a direct picture or direct video of them only. So if it's a video or picture in passing, you know, loads of couple dancing or loads of people dancing and it's just skipping in your face or your, or your picture somewhere in the background some of your face it's I think it's okay overall because as I say events need to promote themselves otherwise you're not gonna have where to go and dance um, but the problem occurs when it's directly targeted at you and uh, the video or the picture right now in those particular cases when that happens and it's a professional photographer or videographer who works for the event you have an absolute right to say whatever you want to that photographer you have the right to say, I don't like my pictures to be taken. You have the right to say, I don't want my videos to be taken. You also have the right to say that if you do want, uh, if you don't mind them, but you want to vet them before they come out, you also can say, my picture can only come out if I approve. Uh, here's my phone number or email before you release my picture, you have to send it to me and I have to approve of it, yes? So in those particular cases, you absolutely, if it's individually targeted, that you, you can say that. Now, if you wanna go beyond that and avoid all of the confrontation or whatever, you can actually contact the promoter of the night in advance and say, listen, I, I come to your events, there's usually pictures and videos taken. Um, I would prefer mine wouldn't. Do you mind telling photographer or videographer that I don't like that? So they would have a conversation with the photographer or videographer, whether they like it or not, but they would have a conversation with them saying, don't take a picture or video of that person and you would be done. And if they still do, you tell them and that's it. And that's absolutely legit and there's no problem with that. You have to live your life and feel comfortable with what is happening around you. 
Now, another thing that is happening, which is madness in this social media era, everybody wants to be a star, everybody wants to record a video, upload it on Instagram, show everybody how they dance, blah, 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 blah. So there's a lot of people now who are not part of the event that are taking pictures and videos, okay? Now, that's where it gets a bit funky. Uh, they have no right of taking any picture of any video. They have to get your consent. So if you see a random person with their phone or even a professional camera that, you know, are taking videos or pictures and you are in it, you have the right to shut it down and just say no and maybe even go to the promoter and say, I find this unacceptable. Um, for me, I even hate it. It's like we're going there to dance and I understand everybody needs to promote. So how about you ask your friend, one or two people, uh, to make a video with while you're dancing and that is cool but when you are there and all you do is take videos of you dancing with everybody well then it beats the purpose of of the social environment and it happens to me a lot of people come to me and they want to take videos with me dancing of course because you know I'm a professional dancer and I'm always okay with it because it, it serves my social media as well, so I'm okay with it. But it comes to a point where sometimes somebody asks me to dance and I say yes, next thing I know, their friend is videoing me. Like, so did you wanna dance with me or did you wanna video? Because if we're dancing, we're in the moment, we are playing, you know, I'm being a bit more carefree. I'm not thinking whether I'm dancing perfect because I'm here in a moment with you. I might play, I might do something stupid. But if I suddenly see a camera, you're not getting the real me. You're going to get me that is in front of the camera. So please ask <laughs> if you're making a video of somebody dancing or your, your friend is dancing with the teacher, even with the teacher or with somebody that is just a nice dancer or anybody, you have to have a consent. So if this is happening to you, somebody asks you to dance and somebody else is videoing it, just stop the dance and say, I don't want to do it. If you don't mind it, there's no problem with it. But if you mind it, they have no, no reason to do it. Even the classes now are going out of control. After the class, you know, there's always a demo. Now the demo is lasting the whole song. And not only that, that they ask somebody to film them, you get another person who's walking around filming them while somebody else is trying to actually film the class. And then the other video videographer is just there and they're getting nothing. Like what is the purpose of those things? And clearly the purpose is social media. And as I say, I do it too, but you have to do it with like some sort of consideration that is still a class, right? So there's this, there's the promotional side that you want to take in consideration, but then if it's just random people videoing you, shut it down, feel no regrets. My final point about this is if you already uh, <laughs> gone to the event, you've done your thing, you've danced, you talked, you had fun, you go back home a couple of days later, there's loads of pictures out there. <laughs> well, then you have a couple of things you can do. If your name is already tagged there, you can untag your name yourself, yes? If you want the picture to be taken down, you have to contact not the photographer, but the promoter, because the photographer, or you can ask the photographer of the promoter or something, because the photographer is doing what his job was, taking pictures, then uploading it for promotional purposes. If the picture that the photographer used is not used by the company who booked them, like the, the night, the event, the organizers, and they're using it for their own website or their own Facebook, then you have the right to do a full-on conversation with the photographer and see where it takes you. They have no right, the photographers that take pictures of you have no right to hold them for themselves without consent. No right whatsoever if they are giving those pictures for the promoters and using them as well, promoters, him, and using them as a whole, is a different thing. Then you are talking about promoters and all of the rest. It's for promotion. But if the photographer took loads of pictures, gave some to the event, you know, event person, and then kept the other ones and using it for themselves, it's not their right. You have the right to say whatever you want to say to that person. Um, ultimately, all of that said, you want to make sure that 
you're coming from the right place because as I say, we need the promotional pictures and videos. We do need them. But if there's something that is against what you want and especially if it hurts your job, don't hesitate, contact them, take it off. I hope this was helpful as an information of how these things work. Remember, everything I said to you, this is not from a legal standpoint. This is from a uh, understanding how the social environment in the dancing events work. So please don't think this is like all legal situation. And please don't uh, think you need to take legal actions. We are a small community of dancers usually having a conversation is more than enough. If you ask your pictures to be taken down and they don't, it's, it's very unlikely because they take pictures of loads of other people. So if one person or two people ask the pictures to be taken down, it's not a big deal. They have hundreds of them. So please don't think I need to take legal action. This is not right. Please think about us as a small community. Um, speak up do what you need to do but don't you know go crazy on us <laughs> we need to promote and survive and make sure that you have somewhere where you go dancing so hopefully that was useful let me know in the comments if you're the person who doesn't mind taking pictures uh, being taken off or you're the person who also struggles with the idea that somebody's randomly taking pictures and videos of you let me know how you feel about this and for now i'm gonna send you the kiss and i have other videos for you to check it out don't be shy Ooh, and have you subscribed